So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and clear your cache on your Mac. Now, whether you have a MacBook, iMac, iMac Pro, Mac Pro, Mac Mini, whatever you have, it's a very, very basic process. Now, if you download an application, you might be able to get the same effect, but to do it on any Mac for the most part, what you're going to want to start off by doing is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your users folder. So you can go ahead and actually jump inside of your users folder by just going into your finder menu, go ahead and clicking in the top right corner, and then you can either just you know, click on go and go to the specific folder that I'm talking about, or you can just go and click on users or your user account, and you should be able to find it there. So once you're there, you can go and even type, you know, tap into computers and you want to click on users. Now, when you do that, you want to click on your username that will basically come up. So click into that folder icon that says your username. And from there, you will find a folder that basically should say something like cache or maybe even like something else. Sometimes it'll change, but you want to find that folder that says cache. And from there, what you can do is that in the, within that folder, there's going to be a bunch of different things that come up. So all you're really going to want to do here is you want to go and find that cache folder and everything within that cache folder you should be able to go through and basically delete. Now, again, you want to be very careful. You do not want to delete that cache folder in and of itself. You want to delete everything within that folder. But what I would recommend doing from there is I'd recommend kind of going through and just seeing exactly what type of files you have. So just go through, delete kind of everything you see in there, but keep an eye on it. You don't want to go and delete anything important. So just go through, delete it, and that's one way to do it. Now, the folder may change for you. Sometimes it could be in your users folder. Sometimes it may also be in your library folder. So whether it's in your users folder or your libraries folder, you want to check both of those. So you can go through and try deleting them there. But again, you don't want to delete any of the folders. You want to delete anything that's kind of within there. But again, don't delete the folders. You want to delete everything that's within the folders from there if you really want to try it. So that's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.